Welcome to the shop. My name is Tavarish. I'm Jared. Yeah, Jared's behind <laughs> the camera. And this is Wrench Every Day. This is a little bit different of a video because we are at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. And uh, today there, a... we are going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do. We're going to roast other YouTubers' cars. It's, oh yeah, it's going to be good. Behind me is a car that is, oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> so behind me is a car that needs no introduction. Uh, is it's that, a Tesla. It's a Tesla, but that, is that stock? That has to be a stock, right? Yeah, that's the sound generator. Okay, that's the sound generator. It makes a lot of noise, a little bit of smoke, you know. Um, this is crazy. So it's a V8 Tesla. This is an LS1, and uh, this was built by the guys at uh, Rich Rebuilds and they did a fantastic job of welding there's like there's a trans tunnel in there like let's yeah there's an insane it. amount of work josh their welder at least he uh, got how to weld and i mean he did a good job of that interior yeah i mean it's really cool they have a shifter that is a sequential shifter but for an h pattern transmission which is so cool it's running on a haltech it has airbags uh it has these really cool weld chrome wheels and it has a nice wrap but um uh, we need to roast this car, right? Right. Yeah, so, I mean, here's here's what I want to roast. We're roasting. Uh, there's too many stickers on the side. Way too many stickers. And they're brands. You're supposed to put your shopping list on the Absolutely, side. Absolutely, yeah. You're not actually supposed to have any of these uh, parts on your car. It's Electrified Garage. I don't, I don't know. Some upstairs. I think that's some new startup company. Yeah, uh, I mean, well, first off, there's this is not practical right. at all. You, I, know? you usually have the jump seat. And look, it's just, you, got, you can't have kids back yeah. here. Yeah, they used... Uh, uh, a nice Adele clamp there to hold the ground cable. Why would, why would you actually strap your ground cable? Just yeah. let it let it flop around. Yeah, let it flop like, around. Okay, it like, needs it needs to fly free. Yeah, okay, there's no there's no reason to do that. As, as it wiggles, it speeds up the electrons. Yeah, you would so, figure someone who knew electric cars would understand. Also, this is a wrap. So this is the original color, and that's the wrap. And honestly, you know this, it's just not my thing. So uh, it gets points off for that, but you know, I, I'd give this car out of ten. What would you give it? Uh, an eleven. Yeah, I'd give it a fourteen. Yeah, uh, on to the it, next it, one. It, it drove in, so it did. That, that's a big plus. So carrying on with the roast of YouTuber cars here at SEMA, uh, Weston's beautiful vehicle. Ah. Uh, we are familiar with this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's barely faster than a stock Hellcat, uh, <laughs> proven by time. It's barely faster than a stock one, yes. Uh, Very it, technically, yeah. yes, that is true. Uh, when you're racing on Woodward unprepped surfaces. Yes, so, and you have zero traction. And then, 500 feet. Yeah. It's but, much faster. Once this thing hooked up, it oh, was it gone. It was gone. Those it turbos. Was... So the supercharger falls off on the top end. And when when he finally got traction, oh my goodness. like it. It was gone. It was so cool to see. So let's take a look at the look around the car well, because thing, this has some very choice modifications. One thing I appreciate is his commitment to the clean air by keeping all of the emissions testing ports. That is where you can plug in. Uh, oh, wonderful! All the port testing to make sure it's environmentally friendly. I'm sure if you put compressed air in that, it really wouldn't, uh, you know, give you any weird fumes or fuel spray or nothing. No, right? Nothing. No, that's that's totally normal. It's got a uh, very nice used patina. Oh, patina. That's what that's what uh, we call it. Okay. It's got. Is there patina on the inside? I think there's a. No, there's that, a, there's that's a, uh, in and out. Okay, okay. It's got in and out on the inside. I think that's fat burger. That's fat burger. Oh, patina. fat burger. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I I don't know the difference. And then uh, race proof, proven race pedigree there. So, uh, but the real piste de Leons. What is it? Piste de Leon? I can't. I don't know the word. What is it? Piste resistance. I thought resistance meant like you're. You're, you're fighting against something. It's a it's a it's a piece de resistance. Yes. Okay, that that one is uh, the mounting strategy for this, and it oh, is yeah. proven. Uh huh. Because not only did it survive roadkill nights, he's done a lot of stupid stuff since then, and it's not moved. Somebody licked the tip of this when, uh, no, when we they were didn't racing. Lick the tip of it. Oh, he he, he yeah. They, okay, it, I don't want to touch a lot that. Worse, that's, that's, so okay. well, somehow is, that didn't make it into the roadkill edit. <laughs> oh, that's sturdy. That's good for airflow. I know. That ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. That's so, right. 
Let's go find more cars. Like this thing, it's well, cool seeing it still around. Well, we gotta give it a, gotta give it a oh, score a out score. of ten. Out of ten. Uh, out of ten, eleven point two. No, 2. no, no. I, that's because that means it's better than iced tea. So it's a ten point nine repeating. I'm gonna give this a fourteen, just for the horns. So next up on our roasting adventure is Mr. Chris from Beers for Builds Jumpicon. Now the reason why it's called that is because it jumps, uh, and it's a hurricane. So it jump a con. Ah, is this witty? Yeah. It kind of looks a little stub nosed. It does. There's like there's 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 a little bit missing here. It bumped its nose a little bit. But something man. tells me that this is not a stock automobile. I don't think it came out of the factory like this. No, this uh, you got to check four boxes. Okay. It, like you got to do the secret ordering code, and this is how it comes from my. Oh, this is the Huracan animal style. Yes. Okay, good. But it's like you have to delete the right options, add in the other, okay, and then it turns into this. So uh, this with is, Oscar. This is a power move here because people can just reach in and just like yeah. do one of those. Well, don't don't do yeah, that. Don't do that to some. Yeah. Also, uh, if you see a car in SEMA. Don't try to open a door. Because yeah, don't try to open a door because you're going you're to end up breaking something. Because Chris informed us someone tried to get into the car and broke his door. That's kind of a... That's not good. That's, no, that's, that's, not a, that's nice, a real jerk move. But let's go back here because we have a big LS uh, back here with Texas a, Speed? Yeah, Texas Speed LS with the Graziano gearbox back here. No, that's a wheel, Freddy. Well, no, I mean... Underneath oh, uh, there the wheel, it is. Down yeah, there. That's, I mean, it's connected to something, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, this is this is pretty cool, man. No, it, seeing it in person, it's it's, uh, it's not bad. Oscar did a good job. I think I think everybody at BS Rebuild did a good job. Well, yeah, but that's not their thing. You don't say we all did a good job. That? Oscar okay. did a good job. Okay, so out of ten, what, what do you give this thing? Oh, I give it a sixty-nine out of ten. Ah, uh, nice. No, that car's not here. Oh, okay, R sixty-nine okay. isn't oh, here. Oh, that's that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, this is uh. 12. Gonna have a 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, consider it roasted. Uh, uh, uh 10 as well. <laughs> All right, so I found something really, really cool. And, uh, well, oh, you're. Oh. Oh, I, you, I mean, I was gonna talk about something else, but I guess we could talk oh, about this. Was that what you're gonna talk about? Well, I mean, not, not, not fine. Well, I guess we'll talk about this. Okay. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah. So this is a Lamborghini Huracan. This is Alex Choi's something or other 4.1 or 4.2. I don't know what firmware version he's on, but uh, this looks really yeah. cool. He has a uh, STO style kit and... Um, Birchwood? Yeah. I mean, that's that's how they're all put together. So uh, <laughs> that, that's good. What's really cool actually um, is that this is a phone charger. Like really? that, that's a wireless phone charger, yeah. So, so I, I can pick up some battery? You can. So <laughs> the phone just sizzles and pops. Uh, no, this is really well done. Uh, the guys at AGX uh, did this and it looks fantastic. I yeah. love this pearl uh, color shift purple stuff. Not what I daily drive, but. Uh, You're not that flashy. I'm not that flashy. You I just don't, go I don't, for bright yeah. blue and gold. Yeah, hey, speaking yeah, of gold, I just go. I just go for gold, but apparently I, so does Alex. I was gonna say there's something on this car that you're really gonna like. So this right here wins the entire show for me because this amazing tape is just that's yeah. that's the way to do it. See yeah. what happens when you have exhaust coming out of here and here, uh, fire shoots out, especially when you're Alex Choi. So uh, so the fire doesn't like burn everything. Right. There's gold insulating tape here. Now people wonder why this is yeah. like so small. These are for the waste gates. So fire comes out of here when you build enough boost, and fire comes out of here just kind of regularly because yeah. you know why? Why wouldn't you need fire there? Because it's hot. Yeah, this is like super duper like stank nasty wide. So I don't know how he got it on a trailer. That's that's a feat all of its own. Um, but I really like this uh, this STO. Oh like, yeah. It almost looks like a real like a real racing uh, body kit. Yeah. Like they got it from a race car. So I don't know what the deal is there, but I know. If I talk to AGX, they'll probably tell me the whole thing right. and tell me not to tell anybody on the internet. But so, uh, one out of 10. Okay, out of 10, this thing gets a 69. Ah, yeah. meme. Yeah, I mean, this is a meme car after all, right? Uh, out of one out of 10, it gets gold. It gets gold, it's a gold out of 10. All right. Okay, so what we have here is the Throttle Eclipse and they made it into like a Fast and Furious homage but they made it all their own, which is uh, quite frankly the smart thing to do because 
getting actual parts, like the movie accurate parts, are super, super difficult. How would you know? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I haven't spent months looking for these parts. But this thing came out awesome. I mean, just take a look at this like wide body kit. It's very subtle, but it's done really, really well. I know they have an air suspension. And take a look inside. I don't know if you can see inside, but he's got two of the big ones. Yeah, except one of the big ones is an air tank. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's nice. Well, no, but that's not correct. It's supposed to be two of the big ones, not a air tank. And well, he'll just have to go to Harry's and, right. and, uh, and refill get, it in the middle of this race. Right. But take a look at this huge diffuser. Oh, <laughs> that's that's a that that's a hot boy right there. That's compensating. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's some functional arrow. Well, I don't. There's a lot of daylight on the top of that diffuser. There is, but <laughs> there's a lot of air coming through there because this car goes really, really fast. I mean, look at this. It has this 30, means 30 speed. speeds. 30 yeah. speeds. 30 speed, yeah. No, but seriously, this is like a really... Oh, man. Like, it's, it's super clean. Yeah. The guys did a great job. Yeah, the wide body looks awesome. Yeah. We're not good at roasting, Freddy. No, no, okay. The one thing I can roast this car for is that. You know what I can roast it there for? There we go. That man roast that. I'm going to roast it. They should have came and seen us. They used the wrong rags, and there's lint all over there's the There's lint all over the cars, so we get points off for that. Well, uh, out of 10, what do you give it? Uh, well, no. Out of a 32-speed Fast and the Furious gearbox, what gear is it? It's 21. It's in uh, 37th gear for me. Okay. All right. Man, I don't awesome know what that translates to, but it, it's, it, it, this is a cool car. They did a great job. Yeah. It, it's really cool seeing how much they work to get this thing together. But uh, Okay, cool. Uh, let's, I'm, fi let's find something else. I want to buy this. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to buy that? No, I can't afford that. So as we are walking around, we're not going to be looking at all the YouTubers' cars. There's one particular car that was part of the Young Guns Battle of the Builders I wanted to look at. You see... All of these insane show cars, incredible paint, tons of attention to detail, but a young gun car is supposed to be built by the builder. Minimal outside help, you're supposed to showcase what you can do. So we come across this car made by Andy, and under the lights, you can tell it doesn't have the prettiest paint. There's not the best fitting of fender flares. Excuse me, sir. But why, why are you being critical of this wonderful automobile? Because what I see here I'm is a person. The story. Yeah, I know you're telling the story, uh, but don't a person. be. No, he's not important. So <laughs> you're, you're being critical of a car no, that I'm, I'm, is at a world famous show, and it's here so everybody can see it. Whether it's perfect or not, no, this is this is what building is about. No, I'm I'm telling the story. Yeah, but just like. Be nice. We're, I am being nice. I know, I know you're being nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, it's here. The paint is on it. And it's, on it's, the, there's it's, paint on and it. And it's on the windshield. There's, it's right there. That's, and you come okay. around. Yep. We've got more okay fitting fender flares. Yeah. 240? 245. No, 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 the fender flares. Okay. What, custom. What, huh? what oh, custom. Custom. Yeah. Made them fiberglass. Okay. okay. Well, so, here but, is the owner yeah. and builder of this. Uh, wonderful machine so you have a toyota sienna uh three liter with a 3.3 yep. head Correct. right well or heads yeah there's uh, two, of, two, yeah, of, two them. of them uh, and there's twin yep. turbos in this right thing. uh there's a custom right intercooler here. custom plenum uh learned how to weld with a spool gun aluminum welder and again it is not pretty but everything I, on I, this car I like, I like, <laughs> listen she's not pretty but she has a listen. great personality <laughs> hey no i i think i think this that, is awesome like, i, it, it I just love a, looking at it because it's it's it needs listen it needs a few tweaks but i think i think this will be cool so, I, I like this yeah. this is this is like <laughs> this is alex Choi. Yeah. you know it's just super, gonna super shoot hot. flames yeah the, these tail lights he told that you cannot get custom tail lights so he cut them out put flower pots in fiberglass and put trailer lights in and they look really really cool yeah uh, Looking at, so the problem with the paint, I looked at it and I said, did you paint it when it was 20 degrees out? And you said, no, 40. 40. And, it, and it was in a Harbor Freight uh, zip up carport. So painting, uh, honestly, the, the execution in the paint, if it wasn't 40 degrees, I imagine would have gone a little bit better. You got a lot of solvent pop, but not only that. Um, it's you your said, favorite car for one reason. Yeah, well, what? Does it have a flat plane crank? No. Oh. Oh yes, yeah. So this this wins it for me right there. That that little you know of a 
That's the bars <laughs> tape right there. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry. No, but you said that you painted it, and while it was drying, it went on the on the truck, yes. on the transport truck. Oh yeah. wow! So it went open it hauler. From Massachusetts to Las Vegas. Yeah. So that that was its <laughs> paint drying booth. Yeah. Uh, a truck. Yeah, a truck. So I really wanted to feature this car because when you first look at it on the surface, you're kind of like, ugh, you know. Oh my god, <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Listen, I mean. You, no, like <laughs> don't look, don't look bury the, the lead here. <laughs> this is my favorite battle of the builder car because it's here. It was done by one person. Like he built the car. It wasn't farmed out to people. No, no, it wasn't. Don't ever be afraid to do it. Like how how many skills, new skills have you learned? Jeez, wiring, welding, body work. I mean, you name it. Everything you see has just been yeah. trial and error. Asking people to do this for a living. And yeah. Looking on forums, watching people on YouTube and say, hey, let's give it a try. Let's see what we but, can do. So it's... It's amazing. Again, I, I love it. It's a car you can drive and you built... It. Oh, that's a Subaru intercooler. That's a Subaru Double X intercooler. Yep. And the only reason why I picked that is because it has two inlets. So I was, you know, the alternative to this is, okay, build your own intercooler or find something that kind of works. And I figured, hey, yeah. this is cheap. They're everywhere. People always swap them out for bigger ones. So... Let's try and but, see make it work. And man, I, I love it. it. It didn't exist, so he made it. He made it work. He got the car here. He did things right. Exhaust hangers. There's so many small attention to details to make it a functional car that he can enjoy. And uh, I think wet sand, and that paint's going to look really great. And uh, I, I love these chassis. They're so much fun. And with a potent 3-liter back there with two turbos. What do you? Okay, our scale, what do you rate it? I give it a 17 out of 10. 17 out of 10? Yeah. I give it a 98 out of 10. Okay. The, the, that's that's a lot. Of all of them, this is my favorite because yeah. someone... Because it's made with love. <laughs> he learned so much building this car, and that's what everything's about. Love. It's what makes Subaru a Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you ready to keep roasting YouTubers' cars? Yeah. I found a, I found a real stinker here. Yeah. This thing looks like crap. Like, I this, mean, this is this is real bad. It doesn't even have real gold. This is just a sticker. Yeah, like what? Who would do? Who would do that? Like a maniac would do this. It's, it's kind of tacky. It and really then, is. There's I mean, no, there's no wiper covers. Like this is, you don't bring a car to SEMA and not have things like this. Also, look at look at this garbage. Look at this. Oh, what is that? What is that? Like, it just doesn't. This just this call thing up the McLaren and pick it up. I'm sure they have it in stock for a 675 LT. That's unacceptable. Yeah, like, I mean, who, who like, would think that's okay? We all know that the, this car is easy to get parts for, but first of all, who does this owner think he is with this stupid paint job? I know. It's, I mean, it's like you know. Look you, at me! Look you, at me! Oh, look! Look! I got a McLaren. Oh, I, I'm important. You should see me. And a roof like how absurd! What happens when it rains? Huh? Rain just goes in there and then just what floods the engine? Yeah, or yeah. birds. Uh, like, yeah. W honestly, if a bird goes in here. That's it. Like, how do you it get it out? Stops. Yeah, you can't get it out. You cut the roof off. You cut the roof off. And then you have to go to McLaren and just pick one up because they're easy to get. Yeah, too. this thing gets a one out of ten. This thing sucks. And then, gosh, look at this. You know what, though? That's a, that, that's a good interior. The, the guy who put that together, at least at least there's a decent guy putting the interior physically it's a, together. It's the color of poop. Well, listen, the color may not be right, but it was stitched well. Yeah. I guess. Maybe a little bit. Well, we're not very good at roasting cars, are we? No, I don't think so. But we saw a lot of really cool cars and a really cool ideas for builds. And um, really cool MR2, MRS that wasn't a YouTuber, but Andy, good job with the car. We kind of poke fun at the paint, but keep work, keep it. working on it though. Like don't just don't just leave it like that. So like uh, seriously, awesome. Well, let's wrap it up. All right, so until next time, uh, this is me, Tavarish. I'm Jared. And uh, we're reminding you to always make questionable choices. And if you don't have anything nice to say, say it anyway. I mean, we were pretty nice. Right. right. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. See you.